Greetings traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade on Wednesday, September 5th, 2012. As I said yesterday, it's great to be back. And to kick this off, let me say what you definitely want to do is get registered for tonight's free webinar. It's on trading infrastructure. It has to do with charting platforms that we like, brokers that we like, and also trading computers. And anyway, if you'd like to join us for that, all you have to do is go to the free online trading, tradingeducation.com, click here, get registered. And if you can't make it, no big deal. For those who do register, we'll get a recording. And kind of cool, I got all trained up on the shot links for the PGA. So you golfers out there, the BMW Championship is here in Indiana. And I am working on hole number 12. And on hole number 12, I will be doing a... Uh, it's a big dog leg, and uh, is it 12 or 14? <coughs> oh, it is. Hold 12. I will be on the afternoon schedule, so be looking for me. I'm wearing a white hat. It's a, actually a white visor, white shirt, and I'll be right in the crook of the dog leg on hold number 12 and uh, with a laser, finding out how far the pros hit the golf balls. Anyway... Let's talk about the markets here. We had a mixed market today. We had the Dow up slightly, but the S&P off by 0.11%. The NASDAQ down by 0.2%. Russell's down by 0.11%. Stock index futures after market in positive territory. Banks off, though, 0.4%. VIX down. Fair indicator was down today, 1.3%. Gold off, silver off, U.S. oil up 0.2%. U.S. dollar down a fraction. And trend in bullish territory today. Interesting. But here's the skinny. We have the S&P in a very slight mild pullback. This mild pullback does put us below the rising 20-day moving average. However, this is just a gentle descent. The markets act like we're wanting to rally northbound. So that is something that we're watching for. This is pulling back. This is to be a nice little bull pullback. On the weekly chart, you can see this. Nice little bull pullback. I don't think you're seeing a lot of buying or a lot of volume come in right now just because the ECB is going to be making some announcements you know, tonight going into tomorrow. And furthermore, tomorrow we, we have the ADP employment numbers that's coming out. And that should give us an idea of what to expect on Friday's unemployment numbers. And that's going to be important for us to see what happens. So the markets can still drop, but we are poised to actually go northbound. Now keep in mind, September is usually a turbulent month. You go back 60 years or so, the average drop in September, which is the biggest average drop that we get in all 12 months, happens to be a half a percent. So um, that could certainly change this month, but you know that's something we need to be mindful of. So with that, I'm looking at a support area at 1400. We need to really stay above 1400. And if we pop, we're going to have some resistance area at 1420, 1422. So that's something else to be watching for. As far as the Nasdaq is concerned, we're just caught up between, between this trading range. That trading range is between 1351, 1387. And we are staying above the rising 20-day moving average. This is a high base formation. It looks like this dude's ready to take off. On a weekly chart on the NASDAQ, you know, we're looking at 30, 92. We need to get above that. And then we have a major trend line we need to get above and then a main trend line here. So a lot of resistance points to get by. But um, long story short, we do have a high base on the weekly chart and a nice sideways base making a flying plateau on the daily chart on the NASDAQ. Same goes across the board of all the major indices. All look fairly well. Let's take a look at gold while we're here. On the daily, man, gold has just been on fire. We said that was going to be the case. We have this symmetrical triangle. I'm sorry, ascending triangle, which is more bullish and bearish. We get a big boom. Uh, pop, a slight little pullback to the rising EMAs, and then boom, another pop looking really well on gold. So kudos all you who are in gold. I did not catch this run, unfortunately. Just called it. Anyway, Facebook. A lot of people are calling today a 
a sucker's rally. I would be careful saying that because we have a falling wedge, more bullish than bearish. That also has given us a bullish divergence, bullish divergence on the MACD centered oscillator, which is really powerful. And then volume, huge volume on today's pop. We could have, we got some decent volume at this low, just like here. So we could have what's called capitulation. So you could have a lot of the smart boys coming in and buying up this bottom. So it, if you wanted to take a couple chunks, you know, some small positions on Facebook, this might be your time. Maybe have a stop loss in place around 1750 or lower. If we go lower than that, just cut your loss and say, you know what, give it a shot. So there you have it. Hope you can join us tonight for tonight's free webinar. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.